This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone in the house again man Shout out to you all You understand? Welcome back to another video Just on the outside sitting down and relaxing you know Just have two stories that I want to share with you guys Alright, so I don't know how many persons were taking a look at the IPL game that was played earlier today Between the Mumbai Indians and the Rajasthan Royals But I must say that Karan Pollard and the Mumbai Indians They really did Evan Lewis and the Rajasthan Royals dirty They totally took them apart my viewers and subscribers You understand? I have all the numbers, all the figures that would have gone down in that game to share with you and um, also in this video, I'm going to be giving you a, a, a little slideshow at the end part of the video where, you know, we see some of the West Indies players and officials on the move. Seems as if they are in the, air, in the airport, you know, they are, uh, you know, seems as if they are in transit to, to, to over there in the, in the UAE. You understand, we know that the players that are in the IPL, they are already there, so they will meet up with them. So it would appear as if these players are now um, en route there. So I will show you a couple of pictures further down. But yeah man, let us take a look at what really happened in that IPL game earlier today. So it was, it was um, the Rajasthan Royals that batted first. You understand? And once again, our dear beloved Evan Lewis, he was able to top score for his team. But even though he top scored, my viewers and subscribers, it wasn't anything much. Because his team really did manage to put anything much on the board. His top score was just around about, um, it was in the 20s. I think he got about 24. You understand? So you can, you, you, you really see that the Rajasthan Royals really didn't do much today. They got bowled out for 90 actually. I think it was about nine, uh, 90 for 9. Yeah man, after the, 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 well they didn't get bowled out. They were restricted to 90 for 9. Of their 20 overs You understand Lewis he got 24 of 19 deliveries So you know even though he got off to a, to, a, to a good little start You know when he was dismissed Everything just came tumbling down You understand And nobody else really really did anything um, I think the next best, next best score Would have been around about 15 You understand So after the 24 we had 15 12 I think 11 and some numbers like that you know, it was it was really it was really it was really a, a good performance by the Mumbai Indians. I won't just say bad performance from Rajasthan Royals because the Mumbai Indians um their bowlers bowled pretty well. You know, Nathan um Colton Nile, he did pretty well, you know, he got um I think he got four for fourteen of his four overs. Yeah man, he got Nile, he got four for four um four for fourteen. You understand? We have to big them up because when the West Indies bowlers take, um, finish with those sort of figures, we big them up and say, you know, look how they do this, look how they do that. So we have to big them up same way, man. You understand? Even though they are not West Indian, it was very good bowling. And Nisham, I think he's, he's, he's a Kiwi. Yeah, man, he got uh, 3 for 18. Sorry, 3 for 12 off his 4 overs. So he did pretty well also. So you understand the bowling, the bowling was, was, was very good, my viewers and sub subscribers. Usually, um, usually it is Joshua um, Boomer that it would be the, the destroyer, but you know, these two guys combined and they were able to take Rajasthan Royals apart, my viewers and subscribers. So, you know, I just one of them things there. Uh, you know, the, 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 the good thing, well, I wouldn't even want to say the good thing is that um, Evan Lewis was able to get some runs because, you know, his team still ended up losing and 24 is not a whole lot of runs. You understand? And you know, you know, we, as we say every day, you know, almost every day we cover the IPL. So we are saying that we need the West Indies players to really step up and to, and to do some work in the IPL so they can carry the good form over into the World Cup. You understand? Um, Pollard, Pollard actually bowled two overs didn't take any wickets i think his two overs went for nine runs you understand and in chasing it down the mumbai indians they only lost about two wickets yeah man they lost about two wickets eh, to, eh, eh, to 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 get it ishan kishan he, he did pretty well he got 50 not out you understand and earlier roach sharma the captain he had stroke 22 off run about 13 deliveries to bring up the victory for the team so why um Rajasthan royals tough luck tough luck you know, as we say, I hope now he's on that side you now, so we really want him to do well. But 
tough luck, tough luck unto them, you know, tough luck to them. I just one of them thing there. Uh, well, yesterday's game, um, guys, I don't know how many persons, I, I actually put out a video about yesterday, but I don't know how many persons would have gotten a chance to, to take a look at that, um, the wonderful battle between Shermer and Hetmeyer, um, Bravo and Hazelwood. Yeah, man, Hetmeyer really did some work yesterday, so, couple of, couple of our players performing in the, in the last, in the last, um, past couple of hours. Alright, my viewers and subscribers, so, Moving on to the next story, as you can see, we have transitioned from the video, from the actual face video to the, the, the photo slide, right? Where you will take a look at a couple of our West Indies players. Now, I was taking a look at the CWI website, well, their Facebook page, and I saw where they would have uploaded a couple of photos of some, you know, of our players and some officials seemingly making their way through the airport. I, I didn't hear anything, any official announcement saying that the squad, well, you know, most of the players that are not in the IPL should be arriving um, in the UAE by such and such a time. I didn't hear any of that. So I'm assuming that, you know, that is what is going on because about two days ago, I saw, or I saw where the, the South Africa um, squad, they were, they were moving and, you know, seems as if they were, they, they were actually on their way to the UAE. So... Wouldn't be surprised if that is what is happening here. Um, it's a possibility that maybe by later on or tomorrow we might hear confirmation that you know the team is on the move. But yeah, man, based on the photos that I'm seeing here, guys, I you know we see we, we were able to identify Rastan Chase. He's there with them. Uh, I think I saw Obed McCoy also and Hayden Walsh Jr. and a couple of the of the of the you know backroom staff, couple of the, the managers and all you know the officials for the for the Windies team. So it's a good look. It's a good look. You know the West Indies, the CWI, they are they're actually trying to keep the fans up to date. As I said from time to time they are doing their little features on the players and see that they are keeping the, the, the thing up to date. Because as fans we are always complaining that you know we, we, we have an issue with, with how they communicate. That has always been our problem with, with the CWI, how they communicate, how they do things. You know, so um they 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 keeping us they keeping us up to date with our players um as it regards to just reminding us of you know some of the things that they would have achieved and see they are they are traveling now and they they're they showing us exactly what is happening. So that is a good look. So we are hoping that we are hoping that everybody will reach in safely and the players that are actually in the IPL still, you know, we are hoping that everybody will finish up healthy and will join in with the team and everybody will be will be on one accord in the sense that nobody will be, you know, we will 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 catch the big C. I know what I'm talking about when I say catch the big C is in. So we 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 hoping that everybody will will come together. We see Christopher Henry Gale, he took his break and saying that he's getting himself refreshed. So you know he's 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 already out of the IPL. So the lights of Pollard, Russell, um, you know, Hetmeyer, Puran, Allen, you know, all of these guys, Jason Holder, Bravo, you know, these guys are there to be added to the team. And once they are added, then you know, we I, I guess we'll be able to do a couple of a couple of um you know little little squad 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 match training. Well, even if it's not squad match, you know, some some training. You understand some good intense training in that sort of um conditions. The guys that are the guys that are actually traveling there for the first are even if they're not traveling there for the first, but if they are going to be involved in you know comp competitive cricket at that level, you know, it's good for them to go in and get themselves acclimatized and, and sort of, you know, just stroke two ball around, bowl two ball, catch two ball and, and sort of soak in the atmosphere. You know, and see and see what the, the whole place have to offer. You understand, especially somebody like a Hayden Wash Jr., who if he's in the final eleven will be expected to do some work it, work with his leg spin. You know, it's good for him to go in and get some ball. Even if it's not on the pitches that we will be playing, but you know, you expect that you're gonna be of similar conditions. So, you know, it's it's good, it's good, it's a good look, my viewers and subscribers. And you know, as I said, I was just going through and saw the pictures and decided that I'm gonna share with you guys. But I'm gonna leave this one right here for now. Zane, sports to the bone, keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment if you have not yet subscribed. My wonderful peeps, just go right ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm out.